Oasis TV, bringing you a world of programming. In January 1992, the well was discovered by a Dutchman staying in my hotel. I was showing him my wine cellar, which is in the mine. The spring was there before, but he was the first to feel its energy field. How did he discover it? Was there anything to see? He purely felt it through his sensitivity. And then people started coming, looking for help, and they found it. That's how the word got around. As the number of visitors increased, there were half a million by the end of 1993, so did the reports of spontaneous healings. Have you compiled case histories? No, we haven't. A Dr. Steinbrück from Frankfurt was here for three months. He did statistical evaluations, recorded the patient's medical histories, and documented the progress they made. There is also a doctor nearby who has brought children here from Chernobyl. He regularly examines people who have come to the mine tunnel, with astonishing results. Traditional medicine has no explanation for the healings that occur here. The water has undergone a great deal of testing, but this has provided hardly any explanation for its extraordinary powers. For food chemists, it is merely extremely pure drinking water. We see data and curves of the Earth's magnetic field in the tunnel and of many other measuring methods. Experiments have also been done with etheric radiation fields. Auras are changed by the water. A laboratory found an astonishing phenomenon. In large quantities, the water is said to be a few percent lighter than normal water. I consider the water to be an incredible gift of nature or of an energy far above us. And one doesn't sell a gift, one hands it on. It seems almost like a symbol, the inexhaustible flow of a mysterious spring which draws people to it hoping for relief from their cares, fears and illnesses. <laughs> 